Hey, coding maestros. Welcome back to the QB Core server universe. Today, we're elevating the player experience by delving into the realm of Discord-rich presence. Buckle up as we unravel the secrets to seamlessly integrate your server with Discord. It's time to add that extra layer of immersion. Developer hats on, let's get started. In today's video, we're keeping it simple with minor tweaks to our existing script, focusing on Discord-rich presence. Fortunately, QB Core provides a default Discord-rich presence, making our task quite straightforward. Let's get started. Open your QB Core server base folder, navigate to Resources, then QB, and finally, QB Small Resources. Open the config file, and using the search bar F3 or Control plus F, type Discord. There it is. In line 52, change false to true. And in the next line, locate the application ID. We'll need to create a new application in the Discord developer portal. Open the portal using the link provided in the description. Click New Application. Name it after your server. And in the next window, find the application ID. Copy it and paste it into the script. Stage 1, complete. Now let's move on to the next step, the icon large, which is the image name we set in the Discord application. Head to Discord Rich Presence and navigate to Art Assets. Here, add an image with a recommended size of 512 x 512 pixels. Remember to save the changes. Copy the image name you assigned and return to the config file. Paste the image name where Icon Large is specified. Keep in mind that it may take around 10 minutes for the image to be saved, so be patient if it doesn't appear immediately upon refresh. This image will be the one displayed to the public. We won't be using a small icon, and you can adjust the time for updates based on your preferences. For more playful interactions, the max player's value can be increased. Buttons 1 and 2 can be set to your server's Discord link and server IP link. For this tutorial, I'm using placeholders as Rockstar. Since my server is already running, I'll restart it to ensure the changes are saved. Once online, hop into your server and witness the Discord-rich presence in action. Once players are inside the server, their Discord activity will display information like the current number of players, the server's maximum capacity, and the time spent on the server. Remember those button 1 and button 2 settings? Well, take a look at mine. I've added links that direct external users to specific sites. And there you have it. A dynamic Discord-rich presence, enhancing the overall experience for your server community. That's a wrap for today! In our next session, we'll explore Discord Status Bot, how to set it up and install it seamlessly. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. And as always, I'm Brave, your guide through the world of QB Core servers. Until next time, happy coding!